Welcome to the simplified guide for installing Lunar Core. Lunar Core is a private server for Honkai Starbell. Using a private server allows you to do a myriad of things, including giving yourself every item, finally being Trailblaze level 70, and having exactly one friend. To begin, let's open our web browser. We will need to download six things. Java 17, Cultivation, Lunar Core, the server data, the spawn data, and the source code from GitHub. It's worth noting, you're most likely going to need to log in to the official servers at least once. While it's possible to play without connecting to the official servers, it's recommended if you don't know what you're doing. This step is only required once per update, due to the game needing to download game assets in order to launch. Let's install and set up Cultivation. Run through the setup if this is your first time using it. Once we're on the main screen, go to Settings. Then enable Also Redirect Other MiHoYo Games. Now we can set our game path to Honkai Star Rail. Additionally, we will need to disable Automatically Patch RSA. Finally, for safe measures, we'll click Install under Install Proxy Certificate. Back on the home screen, we should check the Connect to Grass Cutter box. We should also uncheck the Use HTTPS box. Time to configure Lunar Core. Before we begin, create a folder to house all your server files. Ideally not on your desktop if you have OneDrive enabled. First, we need to find the server data from earlier. Open it, then extract the shown contents to a newly made resources folder in our server directory. Next, we open the Lunar Core Configs zip file and extract its contents into the resources folder as well, making sure to replace any conflicting files. Now we open the source code which we downloaded earlier. We will need to extract just the data directory found in the archive. Make sure to put the server jar into the directory. Let's configure the server. We need to run the server once in order to generate the config.json. To do this, we open our terminal of choice. If you're using a Windows system, hold Shift, then right click with your cursor in the folder. Click Open PowerShell window here. Assuming you installed Java correctly, we can run java-jar lunarcore.jar in our PowerShell window. We can immediately after send Ctrl plus C to shut down our server. Let's open the config.json file. It doesn't matter what you use to open it, as long as you follow the next steps correctly. Scroll down until you can see HTTP server. We need to set use SSL to false. Once we've done so, we can use Ctrl plus S to save the file. Back in our PowerShell window, we can press the up arrow key, then enter to run the start command again. Before we can launch the game, we need to do one more thing. In the PowerShell window, which is now our server's console, we need to create an account to play with. Running account create, followed by your account's username of choice, will create an account. You may also specify a UID if you desire. Let's go back to Cultivation and press Launch.
Once we hit the login screen, we enter the username of the account you created above. The password does not matter as it's impossible for a server to read the password field. Congratulations! You can now play Honkai Star Rail without ever touching the official MiHoYo servers ever again. If you succeeded, then you've done something that a small percent of people are able to do. Give yourself a pat on the back. If you open up the in-game chat, we are able to message a chatbot allowing us to run commands. Using this, we can do a variety of things such as changing the Trailblazer's gender, giving ourselves every item in the game, and simple things like changing the world level. Let's talk about supported features. Anything shown on screen now is a list of features which are known to work. Anything not listed is at best broken or unimplemented. This is the part you'll most likely be jumping back to. Troubleshooting. The most common error is the global distribution error. This probably means you forgot to disable SSL in a previous step. It can also mean a bunch of other things, which you can ask about in our Discord server. If you encounter a code 2000, you will most likely need to connect to the official servers at least once to download the game's data. If you encounter any other kind of mysterious error, please let us know in the support section of our Discord server. It's the best way to receive help and also contains a knowledge base of solutions for issues. Finally, let's talk about the safety of private servers for MiHoYo games in general. For a while, there was a general consensus floating around that using a private server would get you banned. Other modifications such as 3 Magoto for model swaps and in-game tools such as Melon Loader or Akabi are far more likely to get you banned, as they change the game client directly. Playing on a private server means Mihoyo is completely unaware of your presence. 